Halloween, so I mean it's pretty much Christmas anyways we are just going full force into all this so today I am just looking forward to hanging out with you guys we're gonna go um, through all of my Christmas decor I literally have five bins of Christmas decor okay you guys I'm so bad at like going off on tangents but we store all of our decor in our basement which is like seriously a dungeon basement it's creepy down there it is Dude, you have to like, you can't even stand straight down there. <laughs> and getting things up and down is just a pain in the butt. It really is. So like, first of all, getting everything out is just a pain. And then second of all, since it's so early and I'm not decorating everything yet, I was like so he hesitant to even do this video. But I decided we're gonna pull everything out. I'm just gonna leave the bins right at my back door. <laughs> so I can use them as I go. And so I having to bring them all the way up and then all the way down and then all the way back up. I mean, we're gonna start decorating here this weekend anyways, a few of the rooms. So I am actually looking forward to going through them all and I'm going to organize them all with you guys. I'm thinking I'm probably going to end up getting rid of a lot of things because I know last year I didn't use a lot and my style has changed even more since last year. Um, so I'm looking forward to unboxing all of this with you guys and then also I'm going to talk to you guys about my plans for this year and we're just going to hang out together. So. So grab yourself a cup of coffee. I am so excited that they have the peppermint mocha creamer back out. It's my favorite creamer of all time. Um, and let's hang out together. All right, so far I only have two bins in the house because I didn't want it to take up too much room when we're doing this around my kitchen floor like we did with my fall video because this is just the most spacious area. This first bin that I have opened here is looking like it's mainly kid room things. But we're going to go through it and um, whatever might not be kid room things, we're going to organize and get rid of things that we aren't using, so on and so forth. So this is a blanket my mom gave me last year and we put on Brayden's bed. Um, I'll keep this again for him this year, but I'm going to have to find one for Tristan. This pillow was on his bed last year as well. Oh, these are my favorite. My mom got these made for me for Christmas last year. Oh, I love them so much. I showed you guys them in my Christmas book in my Christmas vlog, but in case you didn't watch that, I have to show you guys this close up. So there's this picture of Tristan. Um, it's all just different Christmas pictures of Tristan. And then there's this one of Brayden, and I just love that. <laughs> like you can tell how much they look alike looking at Tristan and Brayden's baby pictures and stuff. Oh, I love these so much. So I'm excited to display those somewhere this year. So I have these that I typically put on my wreaths in the living room but I'm hoping to change that up this year because I've used these the past two years um so I am going to keep these but I don't know if they're going to get used this year Mom rocks. Oh. walking around the Christmas tree <laughs> so there's a lot of different Christmas stuffed animals and same things in here um as you guys heard Brayden just took one already but I always put these up and down our stairway um, going upstairs. My mom always did it when I was a kid and I just remember loving it as a kid so <laughs> I do it for my kids. But yeah, lots of boys things in here. And there's some things I used in the living room last year. So these bells I got from Walmart last year. I'll definitely end up using these again. Signs that I use in the living room. I love this one for buy our stockings. And then I have this farm fresh Christmas tree one. Again, I don't know where these will be used, but I do plan on using them again this year. The December 25th one. Um, what else we got in here? Oh, Christmas countdown that I got um, from Hearts and Hands last year. Okay, it looks like I kind of grouped all of this as my living room stuff, but um, like I said, I'm changing a lot of things up this year, so I don't think any of this is actually really going to be used in the living room. Um, this is just some garland I got from Hearth and Hand last year, and I actually think I'm going to use this in my 
bedroom, unless I find a different one I like before we decorate in there. And then this little swag that I got from Hearth and Hand last year. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do, you guys. Now that I'm like seeing things, I'm like, I really just don't know. Um, some little berry picks. And then my stockings, which I 110% want to change this year. I've used these the past few years, but I'm over the blue. We don't really do blue decor anymore. Um, so I am definitely wanting new stockings. I think I'm actually going to get rid of those ones because I'm just kind of over them. I do like this little one for decor, though. The greatest gift is your family. I got this from the Target dollar spot a few years ago. Oh, Christmas cards! <laughs> These are always some of my favorite things to look at. I love seeing everyone's Christmas cards. I have them from like the past few years in here. So this is fun. Here's my friend Andrea's family. I know she watches. So this is like from 2019 and 2020. Just fun to look at the different cards. Do you keep your Christmas cards or do you get rid of them. Oh, here's ours from when I was pregnant with Tristan. I don't know where ours from last year went though. Ah, uh, here's my mom and dad. Oops. And they add one with all the grandkids on there. Okay, I'm done looking through pictures. You guys aren't here to see that, but I always love looking through them. <laughs> They're so fun to look at year after year. Um, a few little ornaments. Yeah, this is all everything that I like, use in my living room practically. Um, I got this from Walmart last year. I don't know where I'll use this this year, but I do love this. I used a few of these things on my window pane last year that I have in my living room, and I don't have that in there this year, so. Alright, but that bin is it. I'm gonna go ahead and put all the kid decor back in there. Something I need to do is get more organized this year, okay? 2022, organization is coming for you. Just kidding, probably not. But like, that's what I need to do because I'm not organized. <laughs> Something else I need to do is get this video filmed before my crazy little Tristan man wakes up. So let's see if we can do that or not. <laughs> or else he's gonna get into everything. Okay, so we're on to the next bin, which is looking like, what is this? Which is looking like a lot of winter things to me. Oh my god. I got stockings last year and I forgot and I found new stockings that I want this year. So like now I don't even want these. <laughs> wow, I'm horrible. I am horrible. You guys, I completely forgot I got these stockings last year um, on clearance at Target. So I got these all after Christmas. I think I'm missing one. Um, wow, this kind of stinks. I was really looking forward to buying these really pretty cream stockings this year, but now that I have these, I feel like I can't justify that, and I have to use these for at least the same year. <laughs> but like, even this, why did I do this? I got a T for me, and so, like, I'd rather say mom, you know? Well, I guess that's good. It'll save me some money this year. I'm missing an F for Floyd, though. And then I'm going to get rid of all of these, um, these little stockings. I used to use these back when we lived in an apartment. They're like just the really cheap ones from Walmart. I definitely don't need to hang on to them if I'm not going to use them. Okay, what else is in here? This is looking like a lot of my winter items. So I have um, the little sleighs from Target, which I wish I would bring back because mine are breaking all over the place and I love these sleighs. I think they're so cute. Um, this is another thing that's not really my style, but like some of these things I use during winter, I just don't really see myself using them this year. My style has changed so much. Oh, I will definitely keep this cutie little cutting board um, I got from Michael's. I will definitely use that in the kitchen or in the hutch. Um, oh, this is looking like I have some hot cocoa stirs in there. Yo, I'm like annoyed about these stockings. Is that bad? I'm like annoyed at myself for buying stockings last year. <laughs> no, I'll pop a picture up of the stockings I've been eyeing from Target. They're by the Hearts and Hands collection. They're just like a cream, super like basic stocking. And I was gonna get those and then get like the pretty wood name tags to hang over it. And I just think that that looks so pretty, but now I feel like I have to use those. Somebody give me an idea of what I can use those for so I can get the new stockings. Um, so a lot of the stuff in here actually isn't exactly 
my style anymore, but it's stuff that I can use with my winter decor, so I'm probably gonna hang on to um, quite a bit of it. Like this blue gnome. I don't see myself using a blue gnome, but I can use it with my winter decor. You feel me? So I'll probably hang on to that. Um, this is just a little rig to go by the door. We'll keep that. No sense in buying a new one of that. Just gets dirty. Um, this blanket matches my old stockings. It's again another thing I don't see myself using. But I think I'm going to hold on to it because I could use this on the porch and not have to ruin any of my other blankets. It's definitely not going to match like my indoor decor. It's blue and red. But I do think I could use it on the porch. So I think I'll hold on to that this year. Okay, what else we got in here? We got some garland. I don't remember where I used this last year, but I'm glad to have this. I want some more natural looking garland like this. That is something definitely on my list. Um, I've had like a lot of super flocked garland, which I actually didn't bring out any of my like big trees or garland or anything, but most of my garland is like this. Like, you know, I don't know. I just would like to change that up. I love the flocked. I love the flocked look, but I would just like some more realistic looking garland if I get to that this year. Um, lots of floral picks. I always hold on to those. I like never get rid of floral picks or trees because you can just use them everywhere. Put them in new little vases, whatever. I have so much stuff. I have so much stuff I don't even like, like I'm like, ugh, you know? I have these little Christmas bulb lights everywhere and I actually got some new ones for this year because I'm obsessed with these things. I haven't seen them at Target this year, but Hobby Lobby does have them. So if you guys are interested in getting some, Hobby Lobby has them for a little bit more expensive, but they're nicer quality as well. Just a lot of different garlands. More lights. More garland. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Camera's about to go down. Some little dollar spot wreaths. I love to use these um, like under a candle or on a tear tray or just like put whatever on top of it to kind of, you know, give that little extra touch of Christmas layer in a super natural and easy way. So many trees. How many trees can a girl have? More trees. More trees. Did you guess it? More trees. <laughs> Oh my god, we're not done yet with the trees! <laughs> trees! Okay, the rest of the stuff in here is like really specifically winter stuff that I'm not even gonna take out for Christmas. I just use it at winter time. So we're gonna keep the rest in there. I'm gonna go grab the next bin. Alright, another bin. I don't know. Okay, so we have this. I think I got this from my mom. She loves that still. Um, I got this last year from Decor Steals. I still love this. My little nutcracker. There's just something about him that I think is so cute. Don't know what it is, but I like him. <laughs> All right, getting rid of quite a few signs in here. The rest of this bin is basically just filled with signs. I think you guys can even see it. And um, a lot of them I didn't use last year. So I'm gonna go ahead and start getting rid of some signs. Oh, this is me and Floyd before kids, before marriage, so many years ago. This I don't think I'll use this year, but I do think I would use eventually. I'm gonna keep that one, and same with that one. I always try to think about too, like when I have a bigger house someday, I might want some of this. But like some of this is so far out of my decor style that I will get rid of some. I love this guy. Might use this one, I'm not sure. I don't think I'll use this one. I don't know. I also don't love a lot of signs anymore like I used to. Um, and so I try to cut back on those. I think it's safe to say that I went a little sign crazy in previous dollar spot years. I think the majority of these are from the first year we bought our house. But I didn't really have anything. So I just bought everything. I'm probably gonna get rid of a lot now and then um, when it's like actually time for me to decorate, I'll probably end up getting rid of more. I don't know. I don't know. 
I feel like I should be getting rid of even more. <laughs> I have a decent pile here, but I feel like I should be getting rid of more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten signs going into the donate pile. Don't let me buy any more signs. I just did a haul with like four more signs. What is wrong with me? Next bin. You guys, this bin is big and heavy. Big and heavy. Ooh, my coffee's definitely getting cold over here. Hope you're enjoying yours more than I'm getting enjoying mine right now. I'm actually like overwhelmed AF. There's a lot going on here. All right. Here we go. Donate. Keep. 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 <sighs> Keep. I've had these for like 10 years, so we're gonna donate them. <laughs> I had a pretty good looking donate pile, if we're being honest here. I'm really trying to not hold on to things that like I don't love anymore because I, then I just end up with so much crap that I'm just lugging up and down and never even using. These are all of my kitchen cabinet wreaths. Definitely absolutely keeping those. I love having wreaths on the kitchen cabinet. Probably one of my favorite things. I'm so overwhelmed. Looky pin. Be cute. Looky pin. Be cute. Another freaking tree. With a sled that's broken. Oh, here's the bottom. Meh. We'll throw that one away. I don't feel like dealing with it. Dog sweaters. Thank you. Apron. Cute little hot cocoa. <sighs> Cookies for Santa. Oh, I was thinking of myself keeping these. I usually throw these away and just have to rebuy them every year. So, glad I kept those. Don't see myself using that ever again. Oh, I love these little guys. They're my favorite. Bless you. Okay, I am confused though because I have now found two spatulas in my Christmas bins that aren't Christmas spatulas. In different bins too. Like, what am I doing? I really need to stop buying stuff just to buy stuff is how I'm feeling right now. Oh, I do like this little Merry Christmas theory. Alright, what we got here? Definitely keeping this little cutie. Christmas plans. These. Everywhere. <laughs> no, but for real, I love the little vintage Santas. I don't see myself not loving those anytime soon. So there is that. Snowballs. Ten cents. Merry Christmas. Um, you know, I was just about to say I'm probably going to get rid of this because I don't see myself displaying this. But then I thought it might actually look cute under, like, my side table in the living room where the kids can actually, like, come and play with them. We'll see. Like I said, I think I'm going to end up getting rid of more as I actually decorate. I don't know how I'm going to organize this. Like, no wonder why it's not organized because there's no way. There's just no way. I just, I'm struggling. <laughs> I am struggling. I bought this last year and I totally like didn't even realize it says Merry Christmas 2020 on it. Why did I have to do that? Why couldn't they just put Merry Christmas on it? Like, now I don't want to display it because it says 2020. <laughs> uh, I also definitely thought I had more of these Santa mugs. So if this, if this is all your girls got, I'm going to be on the hunt for some more table runners. Definitely just ordered a new table runner. I ordered this last year thinking it was a full size pillow and then it came and this is what I got. <laughs> it's cute, but like, what the heck? Actually, this would be look cute in like that little sleigh or something. I don't know. So I got this last year from Michaels and I remember I was so excited to find it because I think that these little trays are the cutest thing ever. So if any of you see more of these at Michaels this year, let your girl know. My closest one's like a little bit of a dry for me so I don't go there very often. So if they come out, let me know so I can go stock Michaels. Please and thank you. I have a bunch of these houses. I don't, okay. Let me try and tell you guys my vision so maybe you can see like why I'm struggling. Um, I love red and green. That screams Christmas to me. 
but I love like pops of red and green. Like I want on my hutch for it to be like white vases and just like, I don't know. I don't want it to be like, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. You know what I mean? Like I want, <laughs> how I did it for the fall this year, I really liked it. How it was like everyday pieces with touches of fall in there that still made it like scream fall. And that's what I wanted to do for Christmas this year as well. So that's why like these I can absolutely sprinkle all over the hutch with um, other like, you know, uh, actual pieces that you would use in like a dining room or whatever to make it like feel like an actual like hutch with the Christmas touch. And I think I'm struggling a lot too because I'm really loving vintage decor lately and this just isn't, this just isn't doing it for me. Um, like I love this look right here love this look like obviously this is an actual vintage but the look of it I love it um, and then like I love these little candy canes that I got from Target Dollar Spot like just that touch of red and then like the old Santa I love him um, and then like last year I put some cinnamon sticks into some white vases I'll totally do that again this year that just gives it that touch um, but like a lot of this like super Christmassy stuff I just don't see myself using and that's like what most of my decor is and that is why I'm struggling that's it <laughs> I need to make my way to some like vintage shops that's what I need to do can't, can't, can't get this. oh oh uh oh this is my sign that I use in my living room that I couldn't find I always put this above my tv I bought this from a small shop therefore it was kind of pricey don't plan on getting rid of that anytime soon. You guys are going to do the same sign over my TV until I move out of this house. <laughs> um, and then this I got last year. And I usually do a hot cocoa bar over by my window in my kitchen. If you guys have been watching for a while, you know. I always do a hot cocoa bar there. But this year I'm actually thinking I'm going to do my hot cocoa bar on my hutch. I think I'm going to use the whole bottom. I think I'm going to use the whole bottom shelf and make that into like a hot cocoa bar. Um, because I like to go pretty simple with my kitchen counters. And... I think that's what I'm gonna do to kind of keep the kitchen counters decluttered. Lots of baking happens during Christmas time. I don't like a lot of stuff on my counters. I pretty well got my kitchen covered. Like I'm thinking about the pieces that I've already bought. I went to Vintage Market Days. I got some really cute things. Um, I'm planning like the gingerbread theme in my kitchen. We're gonna do some simple DIYs. Um, I, I feel like I've got that covered. I'm struggling a little bit with the dining room just because like I said, I. Not feeling any of my decor. <laughs> uh, so bad. Um, my styles just changed so much. And I feel like this happens like every year. My style is just constantly evolving. Um, it's constantly changing with the trends. Um, it's constantly influenced by the trends as well because I'm always drawn to the newest trends. I see them. I'm like, wow, that's so cute. And then like the stores start to come out with things that go with the newest trends. And it's just hard, you guys. It's hard. And then I also want to give you guys new things. So I'm definitely struggling a bit. I think the living room, um, I'll probably go pretty close to what I did last year. I want to change some things up. I want to do something with our, different with our stockings because for one, we just always put our stockings in the same place. I want to try, try and change that up. Um, I have like that shelf in there that's new and stuff. I definitely have some things that will be changing, but i um, struggling. We'll see. We'll see how this all goes. But I feel like I could just get rid of this whole bit if we're being honest. <laughs> Not going to, but I feel like that's where I'm at. Um, I do have one more bin. It's full of just Christmas pillows and stuff, though I'm not going to bring that up. And I also didn't bring up any of my big pieces. I got a new sleigh I'm so excited about. It'll probably go on my porch. Um, but that gives me my other sled that I put on my porch last year that I think I'm going to bring in this year. Um, and I got, like, all of my bigger trees I didn't bring up. Um... But yeah, I'm excited to play around with it. I'm excited to see what we can come up with. I love Hearth and Hands collection. If you guys go to Target and look at their new collection, a lot of their kitchen stuff, like the mitts and the um, kitchen towels and the table runner and stuff like that, it's all like that red and green plaid. And I love that because that gives that traditional Christmas color feel without it being too like 
bam in your face you know it's like just like a little bit here and there and I love that um so I think you'll see some of that in my haul I plan on doing the kitchen like I said the gingerbreads my dining room I'm definitely gonna go for the vintagey Santa look with the hot cocoa bar I have no clue yet what I'm gonna do on my dining room table but I'll probably keep it sweet and simple because it is a struggle to have a lot of stuff on there with my children specifically my little one um, just my Halloween table I have hardly anything on there and he's already throwing all that off so I'll probably have to keep that simple um, and on the living room I'm kind of hoping to go more of a elegant feel but still with the Christmas colors in like I don't know I don't know I don't know you guys we are doing this together <laughs> we're going along together on this your girl's struggling can I just get rid of all my decor and get all new decor every year? Because that would be really helpful. <laughs> no, I'll make it work with what I have. I'm going to go through though and try and get this in two piles because it looks like Christmas threw up in front of me. Like what in the actual heck is going on? <laughs> it still looks like a mess but I pretty well figured it out so I wanted to show you guys. I put all of my what I think I plan to use in the living room. Um, and my bedroom in here because those are the two rooms I'll decorate first and then I have everything for the kitchen and dining room in here and look how cute these are I forgot to um, show you guys these when we were going through the decor but we made these last year I showed it in a video and we gave these for gifts completely forgot about it so I'm excited to display that this year but yeah so kitchen and dining room is in here um, all the boys bedroom stuff and like the stair stuff is out on the room is out in a bin outside and then this bottom bin here is all my like more wintry items um, and then also I'm gonna put all of my um, garlands and stuff in there that way I just know exactly where they are because I don't know which um, garland or trees or whatever I'll use in whatever rooms so um, I can you know just have those easily accessible and then this whole pile here is all stuff I am getting rid of. So I am pretty proud of myself because this is a pretty big pile. I'm usually really bad at hanging on to things. <laughs> so I am proud of myself. I forgot that I set all 10 of these freaking signs to the side. So my pile just grew even more. I am so proud of myself. I usually am horrible at getting rid of stuff. I'm such a, well, what if person, you know? Like, what if I need that? What if... Two years from now, I decide I need that. Um, but I'm trying to just get better at less is more and keep what speaks to you, what you really love. <laughs> I have found as I start decluttering my life a little bit, it's like a little bit easier to keep up with things. So I'm trying to do it more and more, but it's genuinely like so hard for me. Let me know in the comments down below if decluttering is something that you struggle with or if it's a breeze for you. For me, I struggle for sure. <laughs> Okay, I got all the decor figured out. Being overwhelmed was honestly so worth it because now it's all organized by room, as you guys saw. I know exactly what I need. I have a list. And now, oh, I'm ripping it. Now, sit in this chair, please. We got the Target toy book in the mail. So, Brayden and Tristan are going to look through the toys. Oh, I only see James. <laughs> and circle all the toys they want. Mama. What? I want, um... Harry Potter was here. You want Harry Potter? Yeah. It's the most exciting time of Daddy, year. Daddy. Tristan, who's that? JJ. JJ. I was mother of yeah. Okay. JJ is Tristan's favorite, huh? Oh. You want JJ for Christmas? Oh, yeah, done. Good job. Yeah. Now you can look through and see what else you guys <laughs> might like. Okay, I'm doing a couple games. A couple games? Yeah. Here we are doing Mario! I am pretty sure Brayden's just circling everything in this toy book. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> this is it. Um, only doing two Legos. Two Legos? Yeah. Anyway, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me as I go through my Christmas decor and tell my half-planned plans to you guys. <laughs> We're gonna figure it out as we go, um, but make sure you press that subscribe button if you haven't yet because lots of good stuff coming up on my channel next week yeah. is gonna be all Christmas. So if you're ready for Christmas, press that subscribe button and become part of my YouTube family. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one, bye.